What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Welcome to another video. Today's video, I'm over into the MPC hardware standalone, and I want to show you guys how to go ahead and export your music that you record via standalone into the MPC software or any DAW of your choice. I'm going to try to keep this real quick. Um, short and brief as much as I can as long as I don't have no hiccups we be good all right so over here in the, uh, in the MPC live you could do this on the MPC X or the MPC live as long as you have a, a, a flash drive or if you install a SATA drive SSD or um, a regular SATA drive inside of your MPC X or MPC Live, you could do this. So what you want to do is you want to go into, let's start all the way from the beginning. So say you was here, you go to, um, to load. This is if you if you want to load one, load a new song or old one. You go to whatever you titled your um. Your hard drive, you've located, you go to that folder or whatever, and you just, you, you load, you load one. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, uh, let me see. I'm gonna just load any one of these, don't really matter. Say you got that and you want to load it. I mean, you want to export it. I don't remember if I had exported this one, but I'm gonna do it again anyway. Um, right here. I hope you're able to see it, but right here it says export on your um on your MPC X or MPC Live. You would click on export. You would then select uh, separate programs or explode tracks. I want to explode the tracks. You would leave it on wave because you're going into, you know, Studio One, Pro Tools, Logic, the MPC software. Um, you leave it on wave. 16 bit is what I usually leave it on, but you could you could change it to anyone that you wish to. Um, and your sample rate should be 44.1. Because when you when you take it over into your your studio one or your Pro Tools or your DAW, nine out of ten times you already have it set to uh 44.1 kilohertz. So you'd leave it on that and then you click export. You you give it a, a a file name. I personally I put it in a new folder. Title this stems or grab your gun. I I had titled this track "Grab Your Gun," so. I will title it the hell well no cancel export boom Okay. So now I click save. And now 
that's exported. So if you want to make sure that it's there before you exit out of the standalone mode, you go back into um, your drive and right here it says stems for, it should be grab your gun, but you know, I messed up on that. But see, it's a good thing I came back because this is wrong. This is not what I need. So let's go back to main. Go back here, export, should be explode tracks. It's not, I don't only have two tracks here, do I? Oh, uh, I, I do only have one track. All right, so. one track on your on your track on your NPC what you want to do you want to explode this track so you would hit the pencil tool and where is it explode you hit explode so now it exploded the track it muted track one and now it gave me 15 tracks all together right and if I go to track mute, now I have more than one track. So now, when I go to browser, and you no, know, when I go here, and I hit export, explode tracks, export, um, I want a new folder again to make sure. And I'm gonna fix this. G. All right, so now I hit save. And now you see it's taking longer. It's exporting more tracks. So now again, if you wanna make sure that it, everything went correctly, you go down here to where you name it, named it. And now you see you have all those tracks exported. So now what you do is you could go directly, make sure you save, save your project. Go directly from, if you're going into um, Studio One, I'm sorry, if you're going directly into the MPC software, you could just uh, transfer it over by going to the controller and have um have the mpc software already loaded up right 174.67 so you go ahead hit controller controller mode allows boom 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 yes you want to go to the controller mode 174.67 boom so now it's looking we for live, the computer. right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this this noise. This is making a hella noise, right? Go okay, ahead and I'm gonna disconnect that. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna plug up here. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna title this. I'm gonna set the BPM because I already know it. One seventy four. 67 boom i go into 
you could go into um you go into here and go directly to your hard drive if you know exactly where it's at which i do but i'm gonna show you how to do it from your joint so i have a folder called beats on my hard drive um and in that beats folder i have a catalog and then i name i, I title it by year and then month so we're currently in 2k 18 june then i go here and then i'm sorry i'm taking y'all on a venture for for no damn reason that is that is the right uh situation but i need to go to the hard drive that's connected to the actual mpc right so i have the mpc live one and then i have mpc live 2.0 beats and then i have a couple different folders in here it's not as catalog um as my regular beat folder is because for whatever reason cataloging it is a little bit difficult as you've seen earlier in in that in this video it was giving me some some hiccups but anyway this is the folder that i created the stems for grab your gun boom i got all of these tracks i'll go ahead to highlight the first one click and hold down the shift on your mac or pc then drag them in and like that you got your joint or i could undo that go into audio and drag them into audio no it didn't do it the way that i wanted it to so boom you could drag in one by one What is that? What is that noise? That's not right. What is that? That was track one. What is track two? Nothing on track two. Whoa, what's going on, buddy? Nothing on track three. What the fuck? All right, hold up. So I'll go to sample edit real quick because I need to figure this out. Like, oh, there's nothing on this track. Feel a little better with that that's the kick All right this should be the snare this is the hi hats That's the second hi hat. So I had two kick drums on that track. I had two snares. Okay. 
And I had that effect sound. <sighs> All right, so y'all get the point. I was had I was a little scared there at first because that first track was blank. Right? It gave me a blank track and I wasn't sure why, but all the sounds are here. What is this one? That was the 808 sound. But all the sounds are there. So what you would do is you basically would just drag and drop them into the audio section. You go to main and you drag them one by one in. I'd like to see um, Akai add a feature where you can just drag and drop everything. One time, right here, just go ahead and drag all the tracks. Like if I, if I wanted to drag in all the tracks, I just drag them in one time. Like boom, select all. I can't even do it over here anyway. So the only place you're able to do it from would be the browser and you would just drag in everything all one time. But it doesn't do that. Right? It don't it don't it don't work like that. So we got to work around this. But if you're in like Studio 1, I should show you guys that real quick, but I got to load it up, but in Studio One or any other DAW, you're able to just highlight everything, click and drag it in, and it drop them in order. And then you could just, you know, chop it up however you wish. So that's pretty much the video. I'm going to go ahead and edit this down. Hopefully, I'll get it up today. Um, if not, it'll be up early tomorrow morning. Today's Monday, June uh, 18th. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there if you enjoyed your Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you, but I'm going to go ahead and chop this up. I just wanted to share this with you real quick so somebody had asked me about it before. So it's quicker for me either than typing it or texting it. It's quicker for me to just show and prove and by, you know, recording and uploading it. And then, you know, not only that person, but other people as well will learn from it. So do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace, love, light, till next time. Peace.